Welcome back to another week of Virtual Zoo School. We're gonna meet some great animals this week, so let's hop to it. School. My name is Nikki, I'm an educator here, and I'm with Brian. He's one of our keepers here at the zoo. He's gonna be training our black bears today. Um, so in here we have Roxy and Cody. Um, they are brother and sister. Um, they are four, uh, 15 years old. They were born in June. Their Cody, birthday is June yeah. 4th. Um, so these are American black bears. Um, and what we're doing today is training them with some grapes. As you've seen in many of our videos, training is something that's really important in zoos um, to bring out natural behaviors and to help with animal husbandry. So today we're using a target stick um, and Brian's gonna ask Roxy. them to target. Yeah. Um, and then you'll hear that whistle, which is the bridge, which we've talked about in our other videos. Then he's gonna give them a grape. So bears are really, really neat. So these guys are opportunistic yeah. feeders. So that means they'll kind of eat just a bit about a bit of everything that they can find. They're not active hunters. Um, these guys are pretty lazy. They don't really want to go and actively hunt. They want to save as much Roxy. energy as yeah. possible. Um, so only about 10% of their diet is um, consisted of animal products and meat. Um, they'll get a lot of their animal protein from bugs and insects. And um, they'll also eat things like um, nuts and seeds to get some protein. Um, but most of the time they'll be eating berries and fruits um, and things like that. They do eat a lot of carrion, um, so that's where some of their animal protein comes from as well. Now, as I mentioned Cody. earlier, oh. these guys are 15 years old. In the wild, they can live to be about 30 years old. Um, that's the oldest. The average, though, is about 10 years old, um, and that's because the, these guys Roxy. do have oh. more of a risk for getting diseases um, or sometimes being hit by cars um, is a really big factor for these guys. Um, because these guys are found all across North America, um, from Roxy. Canada down oh. to Mexico, you'll usually find them in forests. These guys do have um, claws that are non-retractable that help for climbing. These guys are excellent climbers. Um, our bears here at the zoo, you won't really find them climbing. Um, unfortunately, they are declawed. Um, they were rescued um, from a situation um, that they were in. Cody, um, Tom. They are here now at the zoo. They've been here um, for almost their whole life. Um, um, but, so Cody, these guys are not very good climbers, as you can see, we don't have many things for them to climb in the zoo. Um, as you guys are looking at Roxy and Cody, you'll notice Cody is much larger than Roxy, and that's really typical for American black bears. Males are usually larger than females. Um, their weight can range between Roxy. 200 pounds oh. and 600 pounds. Uh, we don't have an exact weight on these guys, um, but they're between Roxy. that oh. range. And despite their name, American Black Bear, um, their colors can be very varied. Um, they can be um, cinnamon color, they can be light brown, dark Roxy brown, brown, black, and they can even be white or blonde. And those bears are known as Kermode bears or spirit bears. They're very rare and can only be found in British Columbia and Canada. Um, so they're really, really cool. Now, as I mentioned, black bears are found all Cody. across North oh. America. Um, they are considered least concerned um, with their population status. There are two subspecies of black bear that are found in Louisiana and Florida Cody. that are endangered oh. um, because a lot of habitat loss and uh, human development is really impacting them. And as I said earlier, they are opportunistic, so sometimes they do get a taste for human food. Um, so it's really, really important if you're ever in areas where there's high density of black bears, please do not leave food Cody. out, please do yeah. not feed these guys. Um, when these guys are fed by humans, it really impacts them um, and they can become very aggressive towards humans once they know that they're going to be fed. Cody, here. So as you see um, in their habitat while Brian's training, um, they have some Christmas trees. Rocky. Now you're probably yeah. wondering in all of our videos why we have these Christmas trees. Um, Christmas trees are really great for our animals and their habitats um, because they give them something new. It's a good type of enrichment, a sensory enrichment sometimes for animals. It could be a good smell. Some oh, of our animals yeah. really like to munch on the pine needles. That's also really good for some food enrichment. Um, and a lot of the time for most of our animals, they're good wind blocks. Um, so sometimes we'll make little barriers. Um, you'll see, especially in our bear habitat, they're kind Rocky, of in every yeah. corner. Um, they're really good for blocking the wind and giving them a nice space um, to kind of take a nap. 
Um, and these guys are known for napping, right? They, they spend all winter napping. Um, they do hibernate in the winter. So all summer long, they're bulking up. They're making sure they have enough food so they can sleep through the winter when resources are really low. And in the winter um, is when females actually will give birth to their cubs. Um, they'll give birth Rocky in their dens. Cubs. They usually have two to five cubs and the cubs are usually born very helpless um, and they will nurse from the mother um, over the winter Rocky. period oh. and they'll stay with her for about two years. Now all of these behaviors that you're seeing um, Brian oh. train, um, they're very important as we mentioned earlier for animal husbandry. Um, so we cannot go in with our bears. Um, they are a no contact, protected contact species here oh, at the zoo. Um, so by training these behaviors, we're um, very easily able to maybe check their Rocky teeth, down. check their paws, making sure they're in good health. Um, so we don't need to take them to our vet's office. Um, they can do all their Rocky vet checkups down. right here, um, which is really important because we don't have to stress them out. It's very easy for the vet to kind of look them over. Um, and they know Rocky they're getting down. a really nice treat afterwards. So it's, it's really fun for them. <laughs> um, and it's really easy for us, like we said. Sorry, Paul. Cody, so your challenge today is to play your best game of patty cake. You saw Cody's paws, so we want to see your paws playing patty cake. And don't forget to hashtag us at CMC Zoo School.